Hey everybody, how's it going? It's your man here, Caterade5, and today I'm back with a five minute review where we look at a fan game in under five minutes. As always, remember that this is my completely subjective opinion. Let's get to it. Today we're looking at Pokemon Recruitment by Mega Greninja, Bombastic, Carthy, and Hystricon. Mega Greninja has previously made Pokemon Climb Towards Destiny, Bombastic made Pokemon Hidden Altars Harrison's story for The Last Jam, and Carthy and Hystricon made Pokemon Dregs. Pokemon Recruitment has the player in the shoes of an unpromoted Saturn joining Team Galactic where he has to fight his way to Spear Pillar with limited resources. Overall, Pokemon Recruitment is a solid jam game that is highlighted by its survival-like gameplay loop, but falls short of excellence because of a lack of polish and a story that left me wanting more. Now, I'd like to start with a quick note on bugs. I probably have a lower opinion than I should of this game due to the bugs that I encountered in my playthrough, as I played it soon after the jam ended. I even ran into a game-breaking bug that forced me to restart with a new save. Well, I don't like to focus on bugs, there were enough in this game that made me question the extent to which the game was tested. With that out of the way though, I do want to highlight the polished aspects of the game, which included the mapping, graphics, and music. I thought the mapping was particularly strong as there were many optional side paths to take and there were a good number of extra details. Not far behind were the graphics, which were also well done with many plugins that enhanced the look of the game except for the absence of overworld shadows. And finally, the music was mostly all Sinnoh region themes. Personally though, I think it would have been interesting to throw in some remixes for some of those areas, as the maps were different from the caves and forests from Diamond and Pearl. But what I really want to highlight here is the gameplay loop. While I thought the beginning was a bit difficult, I ended up finding this survival, limited item aesthetic really addicting. Basically, the player enters an area, has to fight a few difficult trainers, and then can explore the area to find different items that allows them to catch, heal, and customize their Pokemon to their choosing. It's very much a maximize what you can do with what you have type of thing. Like, we had mints, items that would maximize an IV for a given stat, and the Legends Arceus move pool mechanic. I ended up having a real good time powering up my team and battling the trainers that were well balanced due to level scaling. While I would say that you probably don't need to give the player as many healing items later on in the game, I was picking up everything I saw. So finally, let's take a look at the story, and while I think this game's story could have been excellent if a few changes were made, I think the story the way it is is still very solid. My main issue with the story is that there really isn't any progression, as Saturn's backstory and his reasons for joining Team Galactic is saved until the end where it's all kind of just dumped on the player. Because in the beginning, Saturn's very indifferent and says I might as well to this whole journey. And then there's nothing really in the middle. Like, if this is a story about Saturn becoming an admin of Team Galactic, let's explore Saturn's character. Like. Maybe every time the player reaches a checkpoint, Saturn looks at his motivation or his past, whether that's through a flashback or just a simple line of dialogue. Look at the research, his professors, why he thinks he would make such a good admin of Team Galactic, among other things. I think this would have really paid off in the end with the monologue from Cyrus, as it would have been much more impactful to the player, because then the player would be shocked to know that Cyrus knows all of this stuff instead of learning their own backstory when Cyrus tells them about it. Again, this game is fine enough without more integration of the story, but I finished feeling like it could have been so much better. Overall, I quite enjoyed my time in Pokemon Recruitment, but I think it could be much better with a few changes. I wish Mega Greninja and the rest of the team the best of luck with working on their individual projects in the future. As always, make sure to mock punch that like button and subscribe if you have not, but that is it for today everybody. This is Caterade5 signing out. Thanks for watching everybody and have yourselves a good day.